I am Dr. Jayanth Rana, practicing at Bardwan as a consultant physician, uh, cardiologist, as a diabetologist, and intensive care specialist. Uh, Today is our uh, topic of discussion regarding the cholesterol and what is cholesterol and cholesterol management. First of all, I want to uh, uh, briefly to say something to what is cholesterol because it is uh, cholesterol is a component of the cell uh, as well as is a component of the blood and body tissue. Actually, cholesterol is need for the fun- our, to maintain our body function normally, as well as it need to maintain some production of the body uh, essential things, supposed to be vitamin D, supposed to be hormone, and bile acids. And that is also the cholesterol is comes from our uh, diet also, and it is produced in our body as uh, normally. Now, the uh, identify the cholesterol. The what is the cholesterol? Because the, why it is needed? in our uh, body cell because some hormones supposed to be testosterone supposed to be uh, estrogen and some cortisol is also needed to production for the cholesterol but when the cholesterol is beyond our uh, normal limit it's uh, going to be disastrous what is the disastrous it will be, may cause stroke it will may, may cause the cardiac syndrome cardiac coronary artery syndromes and always uh, other things is that is also a problem with our production of the hormone also there is a different types of the cholesterol in our body but the main uh, cholesterol in our uh, we all have to concern about the low density lipoprotein hdl high density lipoprotein and the other thing is that the triglyceride. These are the things that we have to look after the matter. So among the low density lipoprotein, it is the we are t- telling that it is a bad cholesterol. Another thing is the HDL, that is a good cholesterol. And what is that? The we uh, low density lipoprotein, but uh, uh, LDL, that is also the because it is bad because it accumulates in our uh, body fluids that cause in the deposition in the arterial blood cells uh, as well as at the arterial wall that causes the thickness of the artery wall is steep and as well as the uh, caliber of the artery is become narrow. In that it is, there is an increase of the blood pressure and the coronary arterial syndromes, that is the coronary arterial disease, that that may be disastrous for day-to-day life with the uh, accumulation of the low density lipoprotein becoming high. Another thing is that the, the HDL, that is a beneficial lipoprotein, we are calling it that is a good cholesterol, which will be beneficial for our body if it is increased. So what are the normal level of the, that? Because actually the LDL we have to keep, there is a different category is there. So we have to maintain the categorically uh, LDL, HDL and triglyceride. More of less cases, the, if the patient is Suppose the patient has a coronary arterial syndrome from his family history. We have to, and patient have a uh, smoker, patient have a hypertension, patient may have a diabetes. These are the other risk factors are there. So you have to keep the low density lipoprotein about if, if the patient there is a very high risk. So you have to low density lipoprotein below 70 or above the below 50% of the baseline. And if the low density lipoprotein is uh, uh, in case of Moderately rich patient or low risk patient, we have to keep the LDL cholesterol between the below the 150 or 50% of the baseline. Otherwise, if the patient has the uh, high risk patient, that is, we have to keep the cholesterol uh, LDL cholesterol is below 100. In case of HDL, we have to uh, there is a target is there, that, but, but the target is above 60. But in case of female, we have to keep it as above 50 milligram per DL, and in case of male is at least uh, above uh, 40 to 45 milligram per DL. We have to maintain it. Otherwise, uh, these are the uh, uh, may cause coronary artery disease, stroke, or uh, uh, coronary arterial disease of the heart may cut it out. So we have to look after the things. So how can we manage the, uh, the coronary arterial syndrome? How can we manage the stroke? So there is the, uh, the thing is that the, that is the first of all the uh, we have to maintain the our uh, body system by our uh, exercise that is such a aerobic exercise uh, 30 minutes per day for five days that is 150 minutes per week otherwise 
50 minutes alternate day that is other, another thing is that that is one uh, 150 minutes per week that is at least we have to uh, maintain the exercise that is uh, to avoid the sedentary lifestyles avoid the smoking keep the our diabetic level if, if you had if you are diabetic you maintain the hb1c maintain the fasting blood sugar maintain the pp blood sugar consult with your doctor and diet that is the main thing is that so you know, if we have a, a high uh, level of the LDLC, high level of the cholesterol, avoid the fast food, avoid the junk food, uh, uh, keep on yourself on vegetables, keep on yourself on the fruits and keep on yourself on the uh, 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 cereals. These are the things you have to maintain regarding the diets. Next, you come to the, uh, the uh, uh, treatment. The treatment you have to maintain uh, the, regarding there is so many drugs in our uh, market. First of all, we give the statin. That is the most commonly used all the patient that is statin. There is so many statins are market, osuvastatin, atorvastatin, simvastatin. So th these are the uh, uh, pivastatin. These are the all the drugs are statin are uh, available in the market. Next, we choose the uh, another, uh, these the, uh, prevent the absorption. Uh, absorption of the uh, cholesterol, that is ezetamide from our gut. Thirdly, we have to use uh, sometimes uh, when the HDL level is low and the LDL level is high, triglyceride is high. So increase the HDL level, we have sometimes the giving the uh, niacin. Another thing is also use the phenofibrate. But phenofibrate is only most of the cases we are used to increase the HDL level and the uh, lower the triglyceride level. Sometimes it also uh, lower the LDL level also. But we do not continue the uh, phenofibrate is a long term basis because phenofibrate may cause the liver enzyme raise, may cause the pancreatic enzyme raise. So after a few times, so we uh, may uh, turn over from the phenofibrate to only only to the statin. And so these are the treatment protocol. And uh, most of the things, the first of all is diet, second in the treatment. And treatment going to the on, on your basis of the your uh, your consultant physician who is giving the as the priority because you have to maintain as per priority because if you have suffering from the uh, uh, low risk you are suffering from the moderate risk you are suffering from the high risk or you are suffering from the very high risk these are the categorically we are choosing the uh, statin we have to give in which dose when the plain statin cannot be control your uh, cholesterol or these are the things in level so then we uh, turn over to with combination with easy to might now uh, it is also combined initially uh, one or two years back easy to might not not practice, practicing very well but now we are uh, giving again to started as per ec guideline or um, ada guideline we are now starting the Ezetimide also, and sometimes niacin also you use to uh, increase level of the uh, HDL level. So uh, these are the things we have to maintain. So main we concern about that. In summary, we just want to tell you that uh, to prevent your stroke, prevent your coronary artery disease, and uh, prevent the uh, the uh, your hormonal level inadequate because it it is essential for testosterone it is essential for the estrogen level to maintain because it produce cholesterol is needed for the production of the estrogen uh, testosterone as well as this cortisol level to maintain so uh, in all sense cholesterol is an essential thing but it is when it is become low it is uh, uh, reduce the production of the this hormone and when it is increased it may produce stroke coronary artery disease so you have to maintain it so maintain in that level, it is not in your hand. You have to maintain by your consultant physician. He knew, he know that how we maintain it and how it, but you have some, uh, you as a patient, you have to need some uh, protocol that is the sedent, uh, uh, avoid the sedentary lifestyle, uh, aerobic exercise, maintain the aerobic exercise, maintain the food, maintain, uh, uh, maintain the food, taking of food, avoid the junk food, avoid smoking, maintain your blood sugar. So these are the things you have to maintain to uh, 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 your body cholesterol in the uh, normal level. So uh, I think you uh, will be very well uh, after uh, uh, if you follow this uh, protocol and, uh, and maintain it. And another thing I just want to uh, tell you that, that uh, your lipid profile, you have to maintain the uh, lipid by 
going for blood report that is very simple report otherwise you cannot uh, tell by your, in your face that your lipid profile is in uh, uh, cholesterol is increased ldl is increased hdl is down it, you have to going for uh, uh, blood report of lipid profile in a uh, three months or six months or uh, one year interval as per your risk factor is there uh, in case of low risk, I just tell you in the six month interval, in case of high risk, we just tell you in the three months interval. So you have to uh, going for the blood report, it, that will tell you the, in which, uh, uh, what are the parameters are there and how you uh, how have to be managed. So thank you very much.